As we're all searching for ways to get more physically fit and also find better balance in our lives, the answer may be a lot closer than you think. And I'm here with Jill Sockman from Blue Lotus Yoga, and yoga may be the key. Is that correct? It very well may. All right, so let's go ahead and get in position. All You're right. going to start me off and teach me some things, right? I am. What's the first thing that I can do to start to learn how to do yoga? Breathe. Breathe. Is this position help? We can make it even better. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Teach me some stuff. All right, so cow pose is lifting the tailbone, dropping the belly, pulling the chest forward, and lifting the chin. So this is gonna be your inhalation, and then we'll move on an exhalation, tuck the tail, lift the center of the spine, draw the chin towards the chest. This is the, the cat part? This is the cat part. Okay. <laughs> so now move a few times with breath. As you inhale, lift the tailbone. Soften the belly, pull the heart through, and lift the chin. And on an exhale, tuck the tail, round the spine, chin towards chest. That actually feels really good. It should feel really good. Take a few more rounds, just at your own pace, and really try to stretch your breath out from one end of the movement to the other. This is one of those shapes that we start beginners with, but you never grow out of this. This is something that I do every time I come onto my mat. It just feels great. It's great for reducing pain in the low back, decompressing the vertebrae, making a little space in the chest and shoulders. Now you mentioned my own pace, and that's one thing that I, I would always assume that in order for me to come to a yoga class, I would have to be at least as skilled as everybody else, or else I'd kind of feel out of place. But is it a place where people like me who've never done this before can come in and feel comfortably? right away absolutely the key is to find a class that's appropriate for beginners you don't want to step into a level two class where you are then in a situation where people in the room know what they're doing and you don't you want to start and set yourself up for success by choosing a class that is appropriate for beginners so everyone else is in the same boat as you are and you guys offer beginner classes absolutely so the next pose we're gonna go into, you move into from this shape. So take a breath in, lift the tail, go back into a cow pose, turn your toes under, lift your knees, and pull your hips back. And this is called downward facing dog. So now, I'm gonna keep you here for a couple of breaths and I want you to breathe. Think about pulling your hips back away from your shoulders, let go of the weight of your head, that's it. You're wrapping your upper arms away from each other. Yeah, so keep the lats engaged. Breathe. Take a nice deep breath in, and as you exhale, come on down again into table. Oh. Hello, hamstrings. Uh, yeah, that, that, <laughs> I'm stretching parts of my body that I didn't even know I had muscles in. So if I wanted to sign up for classes, what's the best thing for me? The best thing to do is to send us an email or give us a call um, because that way we can point you in the right direction. We can talk about what it is that you're looking for. If what you really need is to move and to stretch and to increase your physical capacity or if your life in the outside world is sort of at maximum capacity and what you need is to relax and unwind and de-stress. Um, because we have a lot of classes that are, you are never gonna get up off your mat. They're gentle stretching, deep breathing, uh, meant to stimulate the parasympathetic, the relaxation response in the body. Um, so you can find wellness in a lot of different ways. And we want to help you find the class that is gonna give you what you need. If you guys wanna sign up, even beginners like me can do it. I, I can already feel it and it feels great. If you want more information, go to bluelotusnc.com. Good job, Mike. Oh, thank How'd you. How'd you feel I afterwards? I felt amazing. I, I, I mean, I sweat. Mm -hmm. you, usually it hurts to get out of bed just because I have yeah. back injuries and playing football and stuff, but I felt great the next morning. Very good. Namaste. <laughs>